Peace and Blessings Collective, how are you? Uh, thank you for hopping on to Sear Soul Tarot with me, Leaf, in Florida. It is beautiful out today. I feel like a VIP. I got the whole pool to myself. It was sunny earlier. It's getting some rays. All right, let's get into this collective. I wanted to do a read while I was out here. Something about your intuition is going to be super important. I've already prayed and meditated on the cards, but as usual, no negative energy. Um, may uh, penetrate this read period in any way shape form or fashion my entire spirit team 33 seconds on the clock will my entire spirit team will what blast them positivity yeah intuition for a brand new beginning with something else I'm get, that's what i'm getting straight away this um in this right now the way that i'm reading the high priestess the way i'm seeing it is a lot of you are using your intuition to move forward in, in some kind of financial abundance that you're making for yourself. I want, Spirit wants you to keep going with that. Yes, look, look, the seeds, the, the seeds that you've sown, you're watching them grow. So it's like each one of these, you're watching them bloom, so to speak, right? But each one of these are a creative idea. Something, you know, you may have multiple lines of um, income. You may um, have a few different hustles, a main job, a business, and some other little things, you know? However, whatever this is for you, but when you put them together, it also can equal the ace, uh, the eight of pentacles too, which is because you've done this, you then go into, you can then build on what you have, um, the seeds that you've already sown. And then spirit brings you a brand new beginning in finances too, right? Um, because a lot of you have learned with the Hierophant, um, you've learned what you needed to learn for this cycle, for this closeout. And you're just like up, up and away, um, Good vibes only. If it irks your soul, it's got to go, and I don't blame you. All right. Let's see what else we have. I have uh, Jeremy, Jared, Jaron, Jonathan, Johnson, Jerome, Missy, Melissa, Misty, Sarah, Sam, Sanfran. Could be San, Fran San Francisco might be an extra message in here for you if that's your name or take what applies let the rest fly when you channel things just come yeah look spirit wants you also to be patient and spirit knows that you've been patient right looks like this is how I'm doing the read I guess um, you have been patient and look because of and this is also A spiritual rest card as well right for your own Wow okay we're gonna do the read like this apparently with the ace of Pentacles to the world temperance and then the Sun so you are moving forward collective the ace of Pentacle you're bringing it to your new world it's actually when you because it's backwards it's like this when I put it there they're facing each other so your ace of Pentacle is coming to the world um, you're bringing, I don't see this as a closeout. I do see the world as a closeout sometimes, most times, but not here. It's like you're bringing, you have closed out cycles to the point where the books close. It's on to a new book. But what you get to bring with you is your, um, I'm hearing good mental health, but I'm also hearing, uh, you get to bring your uh, your mind, all the, the mental clarity that you have that for financial abundance into whatever this is for you, right? But it took a lot, a lot of patience, a lot of tempering yourself, um, a lot of, it is a lot of, oh wow, that's a really cool butterfly. I've never seen one that color. Not my ADHD, right? And I don't have ADHD anyway. I'm just a fast minder. Anywho, it was a cute butterfly. So um, you had to have a lot of patience. It was like you were pouring into your own cup every way you were tempering you were figuring it out that a balancing act too this also um i'm not going to get into signs today but there's um because of that it brings in your happiness look everyone temperance to happiness the sun is the brightest card in the deck any deck but especially this one look at it i see nothing but great things moving forward with your financial freedom and financial abundance to a new world whatever this is for you right and you could move you could be away or it could just mean it's you've closed out books worlds your world apart from 
anything that no longer serves, anything that's toxic or negative, you're just done with it, right? And so, you know, his judgment was called. Look, we have the world and judgment. That is, wow. And look, you're moving forward. Yep. Spirit. What else do we have for the collective? Show me. Give me three. Two more. One more. Just one. Clarify. Oh, okay. Spirit also wants you to know someone's moving in slow and steady um, to you. Someone that once caused you drama, something of that nature, they're now realizing you're their happiness. Clear this energy. We don't want the old person's energy coming in. I clear it and I rebuke it. I don't want that energy. What messages do we have for the collective spirit? Show me. Came back out. What about... Okay. Wow. It couldn't be any clearer. So we have the world and the wheel of fortune at the bottom. So what's happening is the overall energy is just is, is a closeout of a cycle, but also a book, a whole new world. You have closed out to this king of wands, whoever this is or whatever this is for you. Clarify the king of wands for the collective spirit. Oh God, okay. It's, it's someone that wants to come in and try to bring balance into something, but they're just as rough and hot-headed and um, think that they know everything still. So nothing's changed with this person, nothing at all. They see you as a soulmate, but you know, sometimes we gotta let people, we have to leave them where we found them. People don't wanna grow, okay. You don't wanna grow, you gotta go. What else? Final thoughts for my collective on this beautiful day. Once you know you're going to be getting victory for everything that you've overcome, everything that you may have thought that you lost, you're getting it back in a new way. So stability is what's on your mind and, that, and so you shall receive it, right? That's it. When you were dealing with the Page of Cups, when you're dealing with this energy, you're getting victory for dealing with this energy for, for you know, it's not that you were, you're not getting victory for dealing with it, you're getting victory for overcoming it, right? And the victory is moving into a king of cups. So it's like the page of cups. That's not what you want. You're moving, you're looking away from that, from that immature energy. And the victory is moving towards the king of cups, which is a mature energy. A king, for crying out loud. Because I'm speaking to emperors and empresses. So this is just one fourth of the side of your match. Whether male or female, there's no gender into row. Remember that. And this is about your stability. That's, <laughs> oh shit. Look. The magician, the ace of swords and the empress. So what's coming in is a complete and utter change of your whole life as you know it. Bam. Because you are co-creating with the universe. That is the truth, empress. And that's what I got for you guys today. Let's, um... see if the, what we have for anything else anything else spirit final what about it's a recurring theme you're putting a death to anything that no longer serves which is the devil like energy you're just being defensive against that because you you have changed death and rebirth this type of energy can't get near you while you get this, they remain toxic. And spirit's just proud of you for like learning, growing, evolving, because change is hard. 
but that's called growth, right? So don't be nervous. Keep going, and you'll find happiness. So says spirit, and that's what I got for you, Collective. Bye.